The Concoria Amusement Park Tragedy As the pendulum swings, joy rises with each sway going higher and higher. A crowd of excited visitors of the amusement park screamed cheerfully, enjoying the awesome ride. Then, suddenly, the pendulum snapped and turned screams of joy into screams of agony. The crash of the pendulum ride in Concoria Amusement Park in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India was one of the most shocking disasters that year in the country. Even though reports of tragic incidents in India count in hundreds, the event on July 15, 2019 grabbed the special attention of the public. The reason was it took place in the amusement park, a place where people were supposed to have fun, not to be exposed to risks. But, as it turned out, the pendulum ride that crashed and sent two people to death and 30 more to the hospital was a risk that everyone overlooked. Welcome to Dark History, where we will unravel the most disastrous events in history. If you want to support the channel, consider subscribing and like this video. Konkaria Amusement Park is just one of many such parks in Ahmedabad, the city with more than 5 million people. These are the places where kids and adults like to hang out or spend weekends in entertainment. However, the quantity of fun content in Ahmedabad parks was not always accompanied by the quality of the inventory and safety measures that such parks imply. Regardless of it, amusement parks are always packed with people. Such was Monday, July 15, 2019 in Konkaria Park. Hundreds of visitors queued up in front of park attractions. One that caught the most attention was the Discovery Pendulum Ride. Discovery like any other similar design, had an axle to which an arm was attached. On one side of the arm was a counterweight and a pendulum carriage on the other. The carriage had 32 seats arranged in a circle with a safety over the shoulder harness. The tragic ride was definitely not the first one that day. As usual, the ride started with short swings. With each swing, the pendulum was going higher and higher. Suddenly, as the pendulum went up and reached the height of around 20 feet, the arm that carried it snapped. Both arms and the pendulum carriage swung backward and then fell to the ground. It was a massive hit for all of the 32 passengers in the carriage. Screams and the loud sound caused by the fall didn't seem to have disturbed any of the bystanders. It took several seconds for everyone to realize what just happened. Only then, visitors rushed to the scene, trying to free people trapped in their seats. Emergency fire services and police quickly arrived and took control of the situation. Rescue workers succeeded in releasing all 32 passengers from their seats, even though some were heavily distorted by the fall. Unfortunately, two of them didn't survive. The rest of the passengers were transported to nearby LG Hospital. After the examination, 15 passengers with severe injuries were detained. The police immediately evacuated the park, and several of its officials were taken into custody in the local police station. City officials rushed to the hospital to visit the injured. The accident had a huge public response, as this was not the first amusement park-related accident that happened. What more, there were three in less than a month. In one of them, the Ahmedabad Fire Brigade had to use a 180-foot tall snorkel to rescue passengers from the top of a ferris wheel that got stuck. The fatal accident at Konkaria Amusement Park induced the public to question the safety of rides and other attractions in amusement parks. The fact that the pendulum arm simply snapped during the ride made it clear that there was something wrong with it, especially because the number of passengers in the carriage was within the prescribed limits. Officers on the site found two possible scenarios on how the arm broke. The first one was that one or more load-bearing cables inside the arm had snapped during the swing. Without their support, the arm itself could not bear the pendulum carriage and therefore snapped. The second possibility was that either the welded part at the end of the arm gave way or nuts and bolts holding it were loose. In any case, the accident turned out to be a question of improper inspection procedure, if one ever existed. Licenses for running amusement parks were issued by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation, the body responsible for the civic infrastructure and administration of the city. To receive a license, a company must provide proof of regular inspections of the rides as well as relevant documentation regarding safety measures. Leaders of opposing parties in Ahmedabad claimed that it was a public secret that authorities issued licenses strictly on the basis of their personal interest overlooking the inspection and safety rules. If the procedures were followed, many parks would have ended up closed. 
Even though city officials rejected such claims, they had no answers to how the tragedy happened. To avoid public discontent, Gujarat province chief minister Vijay Rupani called for strict action against all responsible. The license to run the amusement park was issued to Superstar Amusement Private Limited. The company had all the proper licenses from authorities to run the park until the end of 2019. The authorities decided to put all the blame on them. Six of the company employees, the managing director, his son, manager, two right operators, and helper were charged for culpable homicide. The charge just confirmed what everyone already knew. Amusement parks were unsafe. To prevent further tragedies, Gujarat province chief minister formed a committee to study and implement new inspection and safety rules in amusement parks, even if it called for the amendment of the existing law. The tragedy at the Concardia amusement park took away two young lives. At the same time, it raised concern over how thorough are the inspection procedures within parks. It also brought to light a rotten system that subdued human lives to the financial interests of those who swore to protect it. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you next time.